I grew up in a small town called uh, Proctor, West Virginia. Out of high school, I joined the military when I was 17. I hadn't had my parents' consent. Uh, they didn't like that too well, but they went ahead and done it anyway. So, so I, I was in the military. I signed up for an advanced electronics uh, engineering program. Went to uh, San Diego, California for my basic training. Spent about two years out there getting pipeline through all the schools. And my first actual ship station was in um, Yokosuka, Japan. Spent two years in Japan, and then I moved to Mayport, Florida. And did two years in Mayport, Florida. So I went back to college. Also, you know, not just to get my engineering degree, but also to play football. The football thing didn't quite happen like I wanted it to. So, but the engineering thing did, it worked out. And, uh, so I started thinking about what I wanted to be around every day, what, what I thought you know, would make me happy. And the first thing that came to mind was you know, racing. I just uh, seen this advertisement for NTI, you know, and I just said, I'm doing it. I picked up and I moved to North Carolina. Started out as um, mainly as pit crew, you know, as a part of the pit crew, Jack Mallon, the pit crew. I was a rogue mechanic to begin with and then transitioned into the electrical side of things. The electrical on a race car is very important. Um, one of those things fail, you fail, out of, you, you know, you drop out of a race and it means a lot, you know. So I feel like the electrical side is a very important part of the race car. I mean, it, it's got to have it to go and if it's not there, obviously it won't go. So uh, the overall, which to me is the fun part of my job, I mean, I really enjoy that the most. It, it's geared to what I, I grew up doing as far as athletics, working out, things like that. Um, I enjoy being in the weight room. I enjoy working out. I enjoy the guys that's in there with me. Um, I enjoy going over the wall. And what I do every day is the most exciting part you know, of my job. I think a lot of people out there would love to have this job, and I, you know, I appreciate every day that, I, that I'm in this position. The NASCAR American Salutes program is, is something where the entire NASCAR community is able to come together, really salute the, the military that's out there, both home and away. I think one of the things NASCAR has always had is a close relationship um, with those that are out uh, protecting us on a day-to-day -day basis. And, and just as important are the families that are left at home. Um, and so we try and tie that all together with the entire uh, NASCAR community. The American Salutes program has really been awesome to see all the team involvement um, running special paint schemes that fans can identify with, not only at the track but on television. And then when you look at the tracks, bringing military personnel to the track, um, giving them special access. We had uh, people actually as uh, honorary Pierce Sky drivers and our fans were able to see that and really become involved in the entire program. I think it's, it's important for anybody to support the military because they're doing a job that a lot of people don't want to do themselves. I mean. They're, they're protecting our freedoms and our liberties over here to do it so we can do what we want to do and are free to do. And so I think you need to do a little bit of something to help those, those guys out, the men and women out in the military. They're giving their lives every day for this.